I don't know about you, but I've been using Google Messages for literally years now, and what I love is that it's always constantly evolving. Google is consistently, month after month, year after year, adding new features to make life a little bit easier for us, but the truth is, many people probably don't realize everything Google Messages can do. Thankfully, here at 9to5Google, we have been meticulously keeping track of every single change, and today, we're gonna make life easy for you guys with six super useful, major features that everyone should be using, or at the very least, know they exist on their device. So sit back, relax, and if you find this content helpful, please be a part of our community and subscribe to the 9to5Google YouTube channel as we have a lot more videos like this coming your way. Kicking things off with a feature that is absolutely huge in my book, device pairing. This is probably one of my absolute favorite functionalities and something I genuinely think everyone should use if they're not already. Essentially, device pairing allows you to seamlessly see and reply to messages that you receive on your phone, but on a completely different screen like your laptop or tablet, for example. I use this constantly with my Pixel tablet, but I also have it set up on my MacBook Pro. This way, if I'm working or just have a different device on hand, I can still stay in the loop and communicate with others without missing anything too important. Setup, thankfully, is incredibly straightforward as well. You can pair your devices either by scanning a simple QR code or by matching a short series of emojis. Again, super quick and painless. Once that initial setup is done, you'll have access to all of your messages on this newly paired device. As I mentioned, this is incredibly useful if you juggle multiple devices throughout your day. It's just a dead simple and effective way to continue your conversations fluidly from one screen to another, making sure you're always connected. Next up is a relatively new feature to Google Messages, having been added around April 2025, which is sensitive content warnings. When you enable this feature, Google Messages will use on-device image classification to identify images that might contain explicit content. If such image is detected, it will automatically be blurred before it's displayed in your chat. It's a small but potentially useful feature that you should definitely know about, but it is worth noting it's a bit hidden in the settings. To find it, you'll need to tap on your Google account icon in the top right corner of the messages app, then head to message settings, then protection and safety, and finally tap on manage sensitive content warnings. This will take you to a new menu where you can toggle the warnings on for Google messages. Once activated, as I said, images detected containing explicit content will be automatically censored with a blur. On top of that, if you attempt to send an image that does contain explicit content, Google messages will provide a reminder of the potential risks involved and require you to confirm before the image is sent. Obviously, this isn't a feature that everybody would want on, but for those that do, it offers a great layer of protection against unexpectedly viewing explicit images. The reminder feature is also a great touch as well, helping to prevent accidental sharing by giving you a moment to reconsider or adding an extra confirmation step before you do commit to sending. It's nothing crazy, but a super important feature that you should be aware of if that's something you're interested in. Now, if you're like me and feel that Google messages could offer a bit more in terms of customization, then you absolutely need to check out the change colors option. While it's not a full theming engine, unfortunately, it will at least give you a little bit control as to how your message threads appear on a visual level. Like some features on this list, this toggle is somewhat hidden, but if you tap on a contact name in a messaging thread, you'll see this little change colors option. As a side note, if you're not seeing this option, it's only available for RCS message threads, not regular SMS. That said, there are nine options to pick from in a few different shades like blue, turquoise, fuchsia, green, orange, and a few more. I do wish there was more user control here where we could create a custom theme that would give users insane control and something that would be great in a future update if anyone from Google is listening. Regardless, I personally think this is a great way to help your chats feel more unique with these optional color schemes. And something I like to do personally, actually, is set different themes for different contacts. That way it's easier to visually distinguish between my conversations with a quick glance. This next one is definitely on the fun side of things rather than being purely functional, and that's screen effects within messages. This feature allows you to send certain trigger phrases that will cause a full screen animation to play for the recipient, adding a bit of flair to your chats. We've seen screen effects since early 2024 actually, and at the time of their launch, there were around 15 effects in total, some of which were supposed to be hidden Easter eggs, and I'm sure Google has likely added more to the roster since then. As of now, there are at least nine 
nine well-known trigger phrases that I can show you on screen. This requires you to send specific verbiage like boo, congratulations, going to the beach, ha ha ha, rise and shine, Halloween, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Thanksgiving, and Merry Christmas. Each of these phrases comes with its own unique animation designed to liven things up a bit. I'll admit, I don't use these all the time, primarily because I didn't know all the specific trigger phrases. However, now that I do have this list handy, I can definitely see myself using them much more often. They're a great way to inject a bit of fun and excitement into your day-to-day -day conversations, making your messages a little bit more engaging. I also wanted to put another somewhat newer Google Messages feature on your radar, Google Account Profiles for Google Messages. This is a straightforward but important feature that gives you more control over how your identity appears to other users within the Google Messages platform. You can find this by tapping on your profile photo on the Google Messages homepage and then selecting your profile. From this menu, you'll have the ability to change how your name is displayed and you can edit your profile photo as well. Additionally, there are some handy privacy settings here that allow you to tweak who exactly gets to see your profile information, whether that's only people you message directly, only your contacts, or nobody at all. This is a really great addition because it empowers you to customize how you're seen by other Google Messages users, making sure that your preferred name and photo are displayed as you want them, and ultimately, this should make it easier for other Google Messages users to identify you and adds a nice touch of personalization to the overall experience. Finally, let's talk about a feature that honestly I'd never thought I'd see in Android messaging, and that's the ability to edit RCS messages directly within Google Messages. I don't see this talked about too often, but it's incredibly useful and surprisingly straightforward to use. After you've sent an RCS message, if you realize you made a mistake or want to change something, you can simply long press on the message bubble you wish to edit. When you do this, a small pencil icon will appear in the top right toolbar. Tapping on that pencil icon will place the original message content back into the text field, allowing you to make your desired changes. Once you're happy with the edits, you just have to hit the check mark to resend the corrected message. What's really good about this implementation is that both the user and the recipient will receive an indication that the message has been edited, ensuring transparency. There are also a couple of conditions for you to actually use this feature. One, you have to do it within a 15 minute time frame from when the original message was sent. And two, it only works with other RCS users, not for standard S SMS messages. As for why this is so useful, I'd say it's most valuable for correcting embarrassing typos, adding clarifying information if you're worried something might be misinterpreted, or even rephrasing a message if you feel you worded something too harshly in the moment. It's also a good way to avoid potential embarrassment if you accidentally sent the wrong information. You have a bit of saving grace there. Overall, RCS message editing is a fantastic feature to have, and it makes the Google Messages platform feel much more complete and modern. So my friends, there you have it. Six great Google Messages features that I think are worth knowing about and hopefully you start using them consistently if you aren't already. I'd say there's a lot of practical tools here that make Google Messages a powerful service and it's exciting to see how far things have come over the years. That said, I'll leave it to you guys now. Which of these features do you find is most useful? Are there any other Google Messages features that you absolutely love and think should have made this list? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I always love hearing what you guys have to say. Until next time, this has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.